to the third part of BCW Victory Kingdom Secret Heart, <clears throat> where we have our main event, the BCW Women's World Championship, and it'll be defended in the Wolverine's Den match. But before we get to that uh, BCW Women's World Championship match, for the first time ever here in BCW history, we have a six-way elimination matchup featuring Peyton List, Lauren Taylor, Grand Aoki, Maya Nagano, Dixie, and Falcon. And whoever wins this matchup becomes the number one contender to the BCW Women's World Championship. And normally I do a six-man or six-woman battle royals, but in this case, the only way to be eliminated is by pinfall or submission. And that's the only way to win this matchup. As a matter of fact, Dixie is a former BCW Women's World Champion. Could she uh, get a chance to win it and go after that championship again? Or will the other five women that are involved in this matchup win this match? We'll have to find out. to the ring first, representing the show Cobra Kai, Peyton List. In fact, for those who caught the uh, the women's Aurora Rumble from the Region Aurora Rumble last month, <clears throat> she was actually the uh, Iron Woman in that Ro women's Aurora Rumble match. Second woman come out to the ring, Lauren Taylor. And at one time, she was a part of a Lucas Hack and CCW Carnage and Carnage Wrestling. And even at one point, uh, I believe she held the uh, <clears throat> the overload of women's championship over there. to the ring, represent WCC Adam, Grand Aoki. As a matter of fact, uh, she's a competitor in the Quest for the Queen of Tournament for WCC Adam. Looking at her, <clears throat> she bears a striking resemblance to uh, her idol, <clears throat> Bol Nakano, who has held a world championship not only in Japan, but at one time also held the 
the, w the then WWF Women's Championship <clears throat> back in the early 90s. Next, also represent WCC uh, Adam, my Nagano. And like, now she's got a new entrance, but also new entrance music. Ooh, what a flip over the top rope there. Of course, there was a trampoline to his sister. I'm right, she got into this match by defeating a Grand Aoki on a recent episode of VCW Into the Fire. The fifth one will come out to the ring, represent ECW Extreme Car Wrestling, Dixie. And like I said before, she is actually a former two-time VCW Women's World Champion. Could she go for the win and go out back after the BCW Women's World Championship? We'll have to find out as soon as this matchup begins. Last one we call to the ring, representing the Flying Assassins, Falcon. As a matter of fact, she made a history, <clears throat> not only for the Women's Royal Rumble, but also the Men's Royal Rumble, by breaking the, the record of eliminations with the five eliminations in that Women's Royal Rumble match. <clears throat> and although a Raquel Barrero eliminated her to win it, <clears throat> from what I've been told, uh, Falcon was not too happy about that. And over the recent weeks, she hasn't really been keeping much contact with, a feet, with her sister Phoenix, whom she eliminated in that uh, Women's Rumble match. I guess she wants to mainly focus on getting that win for... <clears throat> to win the contendership to the VCW Women's World Championship. Dennis and Men's Women's World Rumble the match begins. It looks like Falcon's going after Mai, or Nagano, I should say. And Peyton's going after Aoki on the outside. And Dixie's going after a Lorne. Bring her into the ring with a neckbreaker. Falcon misses the kick onto a Nagano. Nagano throws a Falcon over the top rope. And knocks her out of the ring. Kicks in the face, countered there by a Lorne. Kicking a Dixie away. Kicks in the counter by Dixie. Like Dixie's gonna go for a suplex with a Lorne counter with a clubbing blow to the back. Lauren with a hard Irish whip to the corner. An armored takedown there by a Dixie. And stops on the arm. It looks like a Nagano brought Falcon back into the ring. Arm drag countered by Lauren. Back by drop countered by a Falcon to a Nagano on the outside. A chop battle between a <clears throat> Aoki and Peyton on the outside. Ooh, a deadlift dub. <clears throat> Fisherman suplex by a Lorne. Arm drag counter by Dixie. Ooh, don't want Dixie over there, but a Lorne moved out of the way. Lorne going over at a single leg camel clutch. Lorne fights out of it. An elbow counter by Lorne. Forearm counter by Dixie. 
Dragon screw counter by Lauren. Nagano brings a Falcon back into the ring. Ooh, it needed a gut there by a Lauren. Stomp to the gut. Ooh, and into the slingshot leg drop. We saw that earlier with uh, Roxanne and Meowjid. In fact, I almost forgot to say that uh, on the next episode of VCW Into the Fire, <clears throat> and since Meowjid won the championship, she has the choice of either put the championship on the line or make it a non title rematch against Roxanne. And I will get to a uh, on that. Talk to Meowjid about that later on. Uh oh, twisted Dixie onto a uh, Lauren. Dixie goes for the pin. Oh, but there was a rope break though. <clears throat> Dixie trying to wrench that neck. And Peyton just brought uh, Aoki back into the ring. Meanwhile, uh, Lauren with a punch to the side counter there. Oh, it looks like a Peyton missed it with that uh, elbow drop. And Lauren just do a hockey over the top rope. Like uh, Nagao had a Falcon in the uh, <clears throat> in the Fire Woman's carry, but of course uh, Lauren hit, her, hit him with a right hand. We were right up by Nagano. Uh oh, she's going for it. The Tiger Suplex. Maybe moved by all the incarnations of the Tiger Mask. <clears throat> Dropping her counter by Falcon, which kind of explains uh, Nagano's new theme song. Uh oh. The spinning Falcon Arrow. Go for the pin. Why Nagano is the first woman eliminated already? That was kind of quick. And now Lauren brings Aoki back into the ring, and Falcon's going after Aoki. Uh oh. Oh, Lauren took over the end of time, but uh, Aoki put a stop to it. Stop to the arm by Aoki. And a bullplex. Of course, now we have five women left. Aoki goes on top. Ooh, the psycho driver. Uh oh, the Tigs already sent his in for Aoki. Go for the pin. But Lauren kicks out at two. Dixie going on top. Telling Peyton to get up. Ooh, the super uh, twisted Dixie on the out from the top rope. Oh, but she made me see going for the pin though. Speaking wheel kick there by a <clears throat> counter by Peyton. Speaking back kick gets authorized. But from Aoki to, uh, I mean, from Falcon to Aoki. Here for a corkscrew neckbreaker by Dixie. And Dixie got both a uh, Falcon and uh, Aoki. Aoki with a dropbreaker counter with that, with that hairstyle of hers. Whoa! Nice uh, roll-up counter from a powerbomb attempt. Oh, Aoki kicks out at two. Kick to the back, and it looked like a shooting kick to Dixie as well by Falcon. Oh, Falcon with the slap. <clears throat> Forearm counter by uh, Falcon, but <clears throat> what we is an insecurity kick. And there's a crossbody by uh, Dixie onto Aoki, and that's in the bolt to the outside. Back into the ring. Need to get countered by Lauren. Oh, here we go. The end of time. Lauren goes for the pin. And Falcon's been eliminated. And now we're down to four. Lauren's got a Dixie setup on the second rope. And drops it right across the chest. Stomped to the elbow there by Peyton. Ooh, and Lauren rakes the eyes. Elbow counter there by Dixie. Uh oh! It's like, I hope he's going for it. 
the Aoki Driver, which actually was was a <clears throat> once once known as a the Kudo Driver. Armored to take down there by Lorne. Uh oh, was Lorne going over here? Ooh, the boomerang kick. Which one is called the black magic. <clears throat> Go for that uh, single leg camel, uh, camel clutch, but of course I'll be fought out of it. Uh oh. Another end of time. This is Amanto Aoki. Go for the pin. Oh, Aoki kicked out at two and a half. Uh oh, here we go. There's history between uh, Peyton listening to Lauren Taylor. And also on last week's episode of BCW Into the Fire, uh, Lauren Taylor defeated uh, Peyton List to get into this match. Hurricane Rana by Peyton List. Back by drop counter there by uh, Lauren Taylor that causes uh, Peyton to land on the apron. Oh, well, like a Peyton got both a Lauren and Aoki. A nightbreaker, a floor nightbreaker to a pin. Peyton kicked out at two, and Lauren can't believe it. A kick, a headbutt, and a punch there by Dixie. Uh oh, it's like she may be going for it. Dixie's drive by. Elbow and knee counter there by a uh, Peyton. And Alki rolls to the outside. Dive reverse DDT by Dixie. Big forearm counter by Peyton. Far woman's carry counter by Dixie. Left hand counter by Peyton. Gun punch counter by Dixie. <clears throat> and a leaping clothesline there by a by a Dixie. Oh, is Dixie going over a low blow? Elbow counter by Lorne. Uh oh. Ooh, face plant counter by Dixie after a hurricane attempt by Lauren Taylor. Oh, what is this? Is you for a sharpshooter? No. Looks like a half sharpshooter, half ankle lock. And Lauren makes it to the ropes, kicking a Dixie away in the process. Kick to the gut. Uh oh, it's like oh, he's going for it again. The Aoki driver. Lauren going for the pin. She's taking advantage. Oh, but Dixie kicks out at two. Uh oh, Lauren with a front face lock on to Peyton. Don't know what uh, Aoki was going for there, but uh, Peyton put a stop to it. Peyton with a normal light suplex, but immediately Aoki gets up. Kicks is got countered by Peyton. Uh oh, ooh, kick combination fall by a stomp on the hand and a kick to the back. Peyton goes for the pin. Aoki kicks out at two. Peyton misses the drop kick. Kick to the gut there <clears throat> by Aoki onto Dixie. Uh oh, here we go. The legs we've been to the uh, <clears throat> octopus stretch, but I think there was a rope break. Or did a Dixie break up the submission? Can't really tell. Ooh, her ground to a pin by Lauren. Oh, but Peyton kicks out at two. Uh oh, here we go again. Another Aoki driver. Uh oh. Lauren with the end of time. Go for the pin. And Peyton Liss has been eliminated. And Aoki goes for the pin on a Dixie. Ooh, <clears throat> we could have seen a, a double elimination there, but Dixie did, chose to kick out. Uh oh, a double team move. Double DDT by uh, <clears throat> Dixie and Aoki onto uh, Lauren, and Lauren rolls to the outside. And if you think about it, Lauren's here once again defeats a uh, Peyton List. It actually kind of makes it even now, if you really think about it. Ooh, nice arm drag counter there by uh, Dixie. Looks like uh, Aoki was going for like, a double-handed choke. Uh-oh. 
Tombstone pile driver by uh, Aoki. Aoki throws a uh, Dixie over the top of onto the apron. And brings her in with a suplex. Drops a knee onto the face. Picks her up. Takes the reverses move to the corner. Kicks to the face counter by Aoki. <clears throat> Kicks to the guy counter by Dixie. Ooh, a back by drop by Aoki. Kicks to the back but doesn't phase a <clears throat> Dixie one bit. A roaring elbow there by uh, Aoki. Going for the pin. Dixie kicks out at two. Big forearm counter by Dixie. Ooh, what a hard Irish flip there by uh, <clears throat> Aoki throwing uh, Dixie over the top rope. Lauren goes on top. Oh, so I was going to hit a crossbody on both women, but that didn't happen. A dropkick by Dixie sends uh, Aoki face first onto the apron. Yeah, I think you're on the steel steps. <clears throat> Dixie throws uh, Aoki across the mat. Arm drag counter by Aoki. Dixie returns the favor, and Lauren's got Dixie. Lauren throws a Dixie face right onto the LED post, and again. Don't know why that uh that lady and the timekeeper are, <clears throat> are having waving their hands away. They're pretty much far away from him. Ooh, nice kick there by uh, Lauren Taylor. Fire was carry counted by uh, Lauren Taylor to the Grand Aoki. It like Aoki may have hit her foot on the steel steps. Elbow knee counter by Dixie. It's like all three women are like countering everything they were trying to do. Forearm counter by Dixie. Right hand counter by Lauren Taylor. A chop by Aoki. Back up counter by Lauren. Kicks to the gun counter by Aoki. Gun punch counter there by Lauren. Elbow knee counter by Aoki. Gun punch counter by Lauren. Another kick to the gun counter there by Aoki. Lauren returns the favor. And now Lauren throws a <clears throat> Aoki across the mat. <clears throat> Lauren gets on back to gets right back up. A right hand by Lauren. Which to the ropes. Went for a slam, but no. Oh, Dixie with a kick to the knee counter. Uh oh. Oh, Lauren with a DDT onto the <clears throat> onto the apron, the hardest part of the ring. And a neck breaker to right oh, okay. And now all three of them are back on, on the outside fighting. Ooh, Aoki with a <clears throat> hard throw back into the ring. Ooh, and Lauren here just told uh, Aoki to suck it. Like take down into a single crap, but of course uh, Aoki got the ropes. Moves to the corner. Ooh, uh, Lauren's got a Dixie by the arm. A right hand. Another end of time. Lauren goes for the pin. Dixie has been eliminated. And now we're down to the final two. Lauren Taylor and Grand Aoki. Who will become the number one contender to the VCW Women's World Championship. But the final between these two. Elbow knee counter there by Aoki. Big forearm counter there by Lauren. Elbow knee countered there by Aoki. Knee uh, countered there by Lauren. Lauren with a neck breaker. Kick 
to the thigh counter by Aoki. The sledgehammer falls over the drop kick Aoki does. Aoki again with that a hard whip back into the ring. Right hand by Lauren. Kicks into the gun counter by Aoki. Ooh, what a throw there by Aoki. Uh oh. It's like the fatigue starting to set in. Uh oh. A hard uh, hair whip there by uh, Aoki. Kicks his gut. Uh oh. Is she going for it again? Another Aoki driver. <clears throat> Aoki going on top. Ooh, let's just go for that cycle driver, but uh, Lauren moved out of the way. Aoki with a top wrist lock. Punches the side counters there by uh, Lauren. Big right hand. Oh! Another end of time. And that's the second one that she's done to uh, Aoki. Oh, but Aoki kicks out at two. Lauren showing off the guns. Oh, is she going for it again? A third end of time by Lauren Taylor. Go for the pin. And Lauren Taylor is the number one contender to the VCW Women's World Championship. Go back to the replay. Maya Nagato hits the uh, Tiger Suplex on Falcon. But of course she kicks out of that. Lauren Taylor trying to go for the end of time, but uh, Aoki broke that up. Enters that super uh, twist of Dixie from the top rope. But kind of in a foolish move, Dixie going for a pinfall attempt. Like Aoki went for the uh, the Aoki driver, but that didn't happen. There's a kick and stop combination here by uh, Peyton List. Anyway, here's the winner of the match and the number one contender to the VCW Women's World Championship, Lauren Taylor. And if Lucas Haggins watching this, he's going to be real happy that his uh, former talent is now going after the VCW Women's World Championship. And speaking of that, it's now time for our main event. It is the VCW Women's World Championship, and that'll be in a 2 out of 3 submissions match in the Wolverine's Den, which is basically a steel cage. The challenger is a Raquel Barrero, the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble match, taking on the VCW Women's World Champion, Victoria Wolf. And of course, these two have a history with each other. They started off as a tag team, and in fact, the last time, <clears throat> in fact, one time they met, it was for the VCW Women's Intercontinental Championship, and Victoria Wolf won that. And the last time Victory Kingdom, they had a 2 out of 3 submissions match, and Victoria Wolf won that and retained the VCW Women's Intercontinental Championship. Come to the ring first, represent Los Barreros. Raquel Barrero. <clears throat> and of course, the winner of the women's Royal Rumble matchup. Above the ring, of course, is the Wolverine's Den, which is basically the chain link steel cage. represent WCC World Championship cause and the Wolverines, the VCW Women's World Champion, Victoria Wolf.
guys wins all about right there in the VCW Women's World Championship. Victoria hands the belt over to JT Lambert. JT shows the belt over to <clears throat> Raquel. And he raises it high. And the audience looking in awe as the Wolverine's Den starts to lower down. And the Wolverine's Den match begins. Ooh, a backbreaker by uh, Victoria. And stretching on that back. And just pushes uh, Raquel away. Raquel with an arm drag counter. Right hand of Victoria. Kicks to the knee. Elder knee counter by Victoria. Ooh, a hard whip to the corner. Ooh, a double chicken wing slammed. Sit out slammed there by Victoria. Kicks to the guy counter there by, by Raquel. And a climb up drop kick. Ooh, Victoria with a with a basic drop kick. Going to work on that knee. Well, that's actually pretty smart because that's the best way to go for the uh, for the Victoria's death lock. And a bull plex by Victoria. Kick to the back but doesn't face a Raquel one bit. Oh, Raquel missed with that spinning wheel kick. And might have landed on that knee where uh, Victoria was working on. Elbows to the gut counter there by Raquel. <clears throat> oh, Victoria's got a uh, Raquel trapped on the second rope. Uh, drops the knee across the chest by Victoria. Raquel sweeps legs underneath uh, Victoria. Raquel with an arm wrench on uh, <clears throat> Victoria. Oh, Raquel took over a slam, but uh, Victoria countered it with a diver reverse DDT. Uh oh, here we go. One game. Two dames. Victoria has a trifecta for the three dames and almost would hook the leg for the fisherman suplex, but of course, there are no pinfalls in the Wolverine's Den match. Which in the corner, Victoria blocks a dropkick. Still kind of aggravating that knee. Uh oh. Oh! Rocco just threw over Victoria right onto the cage. And yes, you can use the cage as a weapon in this match. Hell, you can even climb up the cage if you want to do like a diving move. You just can't escape the cage. Oh, went for a European uppercut, but Victoria moved out of the way. Oh! Victoria's got her. Crossing the legs for the Victoria's Deathlock. But Raquel immediately fights out of it. Don't know what a... <clears throat> well, Raquel was going for it, but it was like a block. Uh oh! And now Victoria returns the favor, slamming the Raquel onto the cage. Tell her to get up. Oh, for a European uppercut, but no. A shotgun there by, uh, <clears throat> by Raquel. Uh oh. Uno Amiga. And Raquel hits the Dos Amigas. Victoria kicks a Raquel away. Someone's in the arm. Oh, look at this. Victoria's going right at a <clears throat> that, surf, that surfboard stretch. Whoa, Raquel taps out. Giving Victoria the first submission. Need to get countered by Victoria. And a clothesline. Victoria picks up a Raquel. Oh, and for a <clears throat> and her suplex kicks in the knee there by a Raquel. Oh, and once again a Raquel throws a Victoria onto the cage. Oh, and a shotgun that sends a Victoria again to the cage. Ooh, 
Victoria with a hurricane counter. Victoria going on top. Is she going on top to the top of the cage? No. Oh, a splash by Victoria. Landing right on a Raquel's back. Short break of thrust counter there by uh, Raquel. Whip to the ropes. Missing again with that uh, that European uppercut. Oh, Victoria's got her. Crossing the legs again for the Victoria's death lock. Raquel taps out, and in two straight falls, Victoria Wolf retains the VCW Women's World Championship. Going back to the replay, Victoria hits the uh, three dames on Raquel Barrero. There's that first step of the Victoria's deathlock, but of course uh, Raquel immediately fought out of that. <clears throat> Raquel with the Dos Amigas. And Victoria with the second attempt of the Victoria's Deathlock. That actually got her to win and to retain the VCW Women's World Championship. And I don't know about you, but it looked like a Raquel may have like a knee injury and possibly even a back injury as well. Anyway, here's your winner of the match, and still the VCW Women's World Champion, Victoria Wolf. And out of her big brother of Vic Victor, who is the VCW World Champion. <clears throat> is cheering on for her, and he's going to be wondering what's going to be up for him when he takes on Doohop in that Wolverine's Den match for tomorrow night in that Wolverine's Den match. That's going to do it for this night of a VCW Victory Kingdom Sacred Heart. Tune in tomorrow night for the men's division, where the VCW World Championship will be defended also in the Wolverine's Den match. This is Mr. Wu signing out. See you then. Stay tuned and adios.